Basi ndugu kwa kuwa tuna ujasiri wa kupaingia patakatifu kwa damu ya Yesu njia ile aliyotuanzia iliyo mpya iliyo hai ipitayo katika pazia yaani mwili wake we can pray hebu na tuombe lord master the creator of the universe baba bwana na mwimbaji wa mbingu na nchi there is no human being that has got power over the world hakuna mwanadamu mwenye nguvu juu ya neno lord this word is you baba neno hili ni wewe may you come and anoint it ebu shuka na ulipitie mafuta with more anointing na upako zaidi that the anointing should go even to the hearts of the people who Kwa, are hearing kwamba upako utaenda mpaka kwenye mea ya watu wanaosikia and also cover the pulpit with the same anointing na pia ufunike mibara na upako huo in the name of the lord jesus christ katika amen. jina la bwana yesu kristo amina may you all get seated so tunaweza kukaa Yes. Ndio. Having therefore brethren boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus. Basi ndugu kwa kuwa tuna ujasiri wa kupaingia patakatifu kwa damu ya Yesu. Boldness. Ujasiri. You have to be bold to enter there. Lazima uwe mjasiri kuingia mle. But for you to be bold to enter there lakini kusudi uweze kuwa jasiri kuingia ndani mle it should be by the blood of jesus lazima iwe ni kwa damu ya yesu when you know you have that blood of jesus unapojua kwamba unayo hiyo damu ya yesu don't fear usiogope enter ingia that is by a new and living way hiyo ni kwa njia ile mpya which he has consecrated for us iliyo hai ambayo ameitakasa kwa ajili yetu through the veil kupitia ile pazia that is to say his flesh yani ule mwili wake mwenyewe are you get that amen when he died people saw the veil alipokufa watu waliona ile pazia in the temple from top to the bottom being rent kule kaluni ikichanika kuanzia juu mpaka chini it was just a shadow ilikuwa tu ni kivuli of renting his body cha kuchanika kwa mwili wake that we should enter kusudi wewe uweze kuingia because that veil that was rent kwa sababu pazia lile lilochanwa and its change it was broken down na hata that church was broken hata ile jengo lenyewe vyote vilivunjwa vilivunjwa vunjwa vyote so if one thinks that entering into the temple of solomon is where the rest is that was broken down kwa hivyo kama mtu anafikiri kwamba kuingia kwenye hekalu la sulemani ndio napata pumziko hekalu lilivunjwa vunjwa lote are you getting that napata hilo so Sa, sasa there is only one temple kuna hekalu moja tu that cannot be broken ambalo aliwezi kuvunjwa that is the body of the lord jesus christ hilo ni mwili wa yesu kristo when you enter there unapoingia mle ndani you are secured unakuwa salama you will rest unapumzika now i'm not I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to preach like a, a, a visitor. Sasa sitahubiri kama mgeni. No. Apa. Let me just preach very well to you. Hebu ngoja niwahubirie tu vizuri. Not even running or rushing. Hata bila kukimbia wala kuwa na haraka. But I know I will stop somewhere. Lakini najua nitaishia mahali fulani. We are still on the hidden life bado tuko tunazungumzia kuhusu uzima uliofichwa okay amen i know sometimes i've seen even at home i can preach a message wakati mwingine nimeona hata huko nyumbani naweza nikahubiri ujumbe you think people have heard una ukadhani kwamba watu wamesikia 
But when I preach again, lakini ninaporudia tena, Ndio anasema. This is when someone said this is when I have heard. Ndio mtu sasa anasema, sasa hizi sasa ndio nimesikia. Are you there at? Nasikia hii. Because the word is eternal. Kwa sababu neno la milele. Now, sasa the prophet is saying, Nabii anasema. Um <coughs> You know uh, I know <coughs> sometimes me I just sometimes I just get inspired to go to a court even a different court wakati mwingine unajua mimi navuviwa tu kwenda kwenye nuku fulani hata tofauti hiyo tofauti kabisa sometimes I'm not used to say how I'm now now I'm caught in the message of so or in the message of so I just go on mimi sasa sijazoea kusema kwamba na nuku kwenye ujumbe fulani na ujumbe fulani mimi na nuku tu just like sometimes just like Gine, that's just like Jesus was doing that uh, search the scriptures in them you think there is life they are they that testifies of me kama Yesu alivyosema kwamba ukiachunguzeni maandiko kama mnadhani kwamba kuna uzima mle lakini hayo ndio yanayonishuhudia mimi so me when i preach kwa mimi napokuwa nahubiri it is it is up to you to go and search yani juu yako endo ukachunguze chunguze huko kwenye nuku because when you search utakapochunguza you will even find more utagundua mengi zaidi <laughs> amen amen yeah, i believe that i came from catholic and catholics they don't have the word mimi nitoka kwenye ukatoliki na najua kabisa wa katoliki hawana neno so everything that i speak kwa kila kitu ninachozungumza I just learned it from the prophet of the hour. Mimi nimekijifunza kutoka kwa nabii wa saa. Are you get that? Napata hilo. That word should be born in you. Neno hilo inatakiwa lizaliwe ndani yako. Now, in the Old Testament being a type of the new. Sasa agano la kale likiwa ndi kivuli cha lile jipya and the works of the inward court na kazi zile za lile ule kazi zile za ua la ndani kabisa of the tabernacle was a beautiful picture of god's plan of la, salvation ile kali ilikuwa ni picha kamili ya uokovu wa mungu for his mankind today kwa sababu kwa ajili ya mwanadamu leo if we can only learn by this now kama tunaweza kujifunza sasa kwa hili and how to get ourselves in the condition to receive what god has in store for us na namna ya kujifunza kuingia kwenye mazingira ya kupokea kila ambacho mungu anacho kwa ajili yetu leo it will sweep the whole valley here hiyo itafagia kila kitu hapa it will set the church on fire itafagia bonde lote hapa na kuliwasha moto kanisa alright amen But don't you think it is better to always know how and what you are coming for? Je, lakini sio ni si, si ni jambo jema wewe kuweza kutafuta na kujua kwa nini unakuja hapa? You got to know the way of approach to anything. Lazima ujue namna ya kuendea jambo lolote lile. And the prophet is saying, Na Nabii anasema, I have prayed for kings in in my day <coughs> nimeombea wafalme katika siku zangu siku yangu and i notice how they taken the calves out of my trousers nimeona legs. jinsi ambavyo walikuwa wakichukua vifungu kutoka and kwenye nguo zangu and uh, when i walk before the king na napotembea napokuwa mbele za mfalme and they told me not to turn my back on him Nami Na wakanipa masharti kwamba nisimpe nisi, nisi kisogo. But when I left, lakini napoondoka to back up. Eh, but when I left to back up. Lakini napokuwa nimeacha and it is a certain way of approach. Ninapokuwa nimeacha kutoa kis, yani kumpa kisogo ndio njia fulani ya kumwendea yeye. Otherwise you would be called down vinginevyo ukifanya hivyo ukakiuka hayo masharti utaitwa 
utakamatwa in the court of the of the of the land when you are going to speak to the judge unapokuwa mahakamani kama unataka kuongea na yule hakimu you don't hola upazi sauti juu hey hey judge wewe kumwambia ewe nani hebu yake nani mahakimu hakimu like like to talk to you like to talk to you a minute Ewe hakimu nataka nizungumze na wewe dakika moja tu. You got to come a provided way. Lazima uende katika njia iliyowekwa. Judge your ha- own. Mheshimiwa hakimu. So we must meet God upon his appropriated provided plan of how we must approach him. Kwa lazima tukutane na Mungu katika ule mpango wake sahihi wa namna ya kumwendea. And if we could only approach him through that plan na kama wewe utaweza kumwendea katika mpango huo and get it right na ukapatia we are sure to get an audience with God tuna hakika ya kupata kundi lenye Mungu we are sure tuna hakika that God kwamba Mungu can listen to us anaweza kutusikia an audience is someone listening to you when you are talking yani kundi ni lile ambalo eh? like ah like, okay like they, they, i'm speaking and you you have got an audience with me kuwa na kikao ni mtu akiwa amekaa kwa usikiva akikusikiliza kwa na ninyi kuwa na kikao na mimi ni wakati ambapo mmekaa makini kunisikiliza so when you go a provided way kwa hivyo unapoenda katika njia iliyo sahihi iliyowekwa ah, then the lord can have an audience hapo basi you. mungu atakuwa na usikivu na wewe now in the old testament sasa katika agano la kale There was what they called the outer courts. Kulikuwa na kile walichoita ua wa nje. We watch what was in the outer court. Tukiangalia kilichokuwa kwenye ua wa nje, then there was a holy place. Ndipo kulikuwa na mahali patakatifu or called the first veil. Ama panaitwa pazia la kwanza. And then inside the holiest of holies na ndipo ndipo sasa pale patakatifu patakatifu and what furniture was in the outer court na vile vifaa vilivyokuepo katika ua wa nje what was in the veil the holy place hicho kuwa nyuma ile pazia mahali patakatifu i get it napata hiyo so now uh, today or this evening ajioni ya leo we want to talk on on the holiest place the dwelling place where god dwelt tunataka tuzungumzie pale mahali patakatifu kabisa ambapo mungu alikuwa akikaa where god himself dwelt mahali ambapo mungu mwenyewe alikuwa anakaa those days siku hizo he dwelt in his tabernacle alikaa katika maskani yake today leo He dwells in you as his tabernacle. Anakaa ndani yako kama wewe ukiwa maskani yake. Now listen. Sasa sikiliza. Me I have just told you what it is. Mimi nimewambieni tu kile kilicho. You yourself should confirm. Sasa ninyi wenyewe natakiwa muhakikishe if that God is in you. Kama Mungu yuko ndani yenu. You may say amen. Wewe mwenyewe unaweza kusema amina. Because that's why here we are saying. Ndio sababu hapa tunasema. In that when I was last message that I was I preaching I, I said. Ujumbe wa mwisho nilioubini nilisema. You should take it by violence. Lazima utwae kwa nguvu. Or by force. Au kwa kulazimisha. So we must make this place a dwelling Lazima. not not an outer court. Lazima tufanye mahali hapo mahali pa makazi sio sehemu huwa wa nje but the dwelling place of God in the holy of holies lakini mahali ambapo Mungu anakaa patakatifu patakatifu a consecrated hidden life 
alone maisha yaliyowekwa wakfu quiet with god yaliyofichwa kabisa ukiwa kimya na mungu alright vema it is a serious thing ni kitu ambacho ni, ni kizito sana that's why the prophet in some other message said lord he was praying ndio maana nabii katika baadhi ya jumbe zingine alikuwa akiomba anasema he said lord bwana help me nisaidie i don't like on the day of judgment to find my people out of them coming butterflies nisingependa watu wangu hawa siku ya mwisho nione vipepeo ndio vinawatoka lizards whatever yani wanatokwa na mijusi na frogs Yura said Lord help me that these people on that day Alisema Bwana nisaidie kwamba watu hawa siku ile let the Holy Spirit be e, seen in them Hebu Roho Mtakatifu aonekane ndani yao Now look Sasa angalia We become too excited Tunakuwa tunafurahi sana Tunachangamka sana upset e, kuzunika about too many things kuhusu mambo mengi sana it shows there is something lacking inaonyesha inaonyesha kwamba kuna kitu fulani kasoro eh tunakikosa the church ought to be a million miles up the road to what it is now kanisa linapasa liwe ma, ma, milioni ya mamaili kutoka mahali liko sasa million miles maili milioni this is the time that dar es salaam the whole world is supposed to be shaken huu ni wakati ambao dar es salaam dunia nzima inatakiwa itikiswe if we are saying kama tunasema this is the message of restoration huu ni ujumbe wa kurejeshwa when paul wakati paulo was called Alipo kamatwa and was, alipoitwa and he was baptized with the holy ghost na akabatizwa na roho mtakatifu the whole jerusalem shook jerusalem nzima ilitikisika paul shook the whole world paulo alitikisa dunia nzima he shook rome alitikisa rumi he shook the kings akatikisa wafalme when they came out of the upper house walipotoka chumba cha juu Oh my dear. Lo rafiki yangu. Jerusalem was in turmoil. Yerusalemu ilikuwa kwenye mtikisiko. By the power that was living in them. Kwa nguvu zilizokuwa ndani yao. Now I have seen that we believers. Naona kwamba sasa sisi waaminio We are just there to admire the life of the prophet. Tuko hapa kutamani tu maisha ya nabii. Mm. Mm. We are the prophet. Mm. Ah, tulikuwa na nabii. I ah. wish I was in in, in his congregation. Light mm. ningekuepo kwenye kusanyiko lile. He could he could have descend me. Angenipambanua. The prophet lived his day Nabi aliishi siku yake and he left na akaondoka the same power nguvu ile ile that was living in him iliyokuwa inaishi ndani yake he said it shall be in you alisema itakuwa ndani yako we should not just be there admiring him atakikuwa hapo tunaonea yani kuna sema jamani nguvu ya namna gani if the lord god almighty kama bwana mungu mwenyezi promise to dwell in us aliahidi kukaa ndani yetu tell me what you can feel sasa niambie unashindwa wapi how can you shuna my human and the woman of zerepat who lived in the blood of the bulls Niambie yule mwanamke mshunami na yule mwanamke wa Zelpa ambao ambao waliishi chini ya damu ya wanyama. Have a better testimony. Wanawezaje kuwa na ushuhuda bora than us who are living in the blood of the lamb Jesus Christ. Kuliko sisi ambao tunaishi chini ya damu ya Yesu Kristo. And the Bible says. Na Biblia inasema they without us. 
wao pasipo sisi are not perfect sio wakamili Moses is not perfect without us Musa si mkamilifu bila sisi David is not perfect without us Daud si mkamilifu bila sisi Our life is higher than of David Maisha yetu yako juu kuliko ya Daud If me, I cannot stop somewhere and be admiring a woman who is bathing in the, in the bathroom. I'm just there without anything going on. Me, no, me, our life is higher. Maisha yetu sisi yako juu mimi siwezi kwanza kuchungulia mwanamke anaoga bafuni alafu namtamani mimi. Si haiwezekani maisha yangu yako juu sana. Our life is high of Solomon. Maisha yetu yako juu zaidi ya Sulemani. Who was never satisfied to marry? Ambaye hakutosheka na kuoa. He marries this one, marries this anaoa one. Anaoa yuyu, anaoa yule, anaoa yule. But our life. Lakini sisi maisha yetu. I'm not condemning them. Mimi sio kwamba na walaumu. They live in the blood of the bulls. Lakini waishi chini ya damu ya wanyama. We we are living in the life of Christ himself. Sisi tunaishi katika maisha ya Kristo mwenyewe. How can the life of Christ admire a woman at the well? Kasa yawezekanaje maisha ya Kristo ya tamani mwanamke ikisimani? How can the life of Christ maisha ya Kristo yawezekanaje? How can that life start lasting for a woman at the well? Hiyo maisha ya namna hiyo yanawezekanaje ya katamani mwanamke ambaye huko anachota maji kisimani? That life is higher. Haya maisha yako juu. And he says, Anasema, Come unto me. Njoni kwangu. Oh, he that labor in lust. Nini nyote mnao lemewa na, na mizigo. Oh, he that labor in lust. <laughs> Anasema, Njoni kwangu nini nyote mnao teseka na tama. Oh, he that labor in a doubted. Nini nyote mnao teseka, mnao lemewa na uzizi. Come unto me. Njoni kwangu I will give you rest. When you are just in Christ, unapokuwa ndani ya Kristo, you rest. Unapumzika. That is the end. Ndio mwisho. I was reading reading somewhere. Nilikuwa nasoma mahali fulani. The prophet saying, Nabii anasema, How can a woman grace for a man? dressing all the dressing that you are dressing you just want to to dress for a man to go and see you anabia alikuwa anasema kwamba yawezekanaje mwanamke yani uvae nguo zako lakini lengo kusudi mwanaume fulani akutazame say the one who did that anasema aliyefanya hivyo was just Jezebel alikuwa ni Jezebel you should not dress for someone to see you Usivae kusudi mtu fulani akuone. No. Hapana. Dress for the glory of God. Vaa kwa ajili ya utukufu wa Mungu. Everything that you are doing, kila kitu unachokifanya, let it be done as a worship to the Lord. Hebu kifanyike kama ibada kwa Bwana. Outside the court. Nje ya ule ua. We are still back down in the adolescent age. Tuko nyuma kabisa kule kwenye wakati wa kubalehe. Fazing and fighting. Zozana kupigana and, and quarreling na kugombana and stewing na kulipuka. When we ought to be consecrated. Wakati ipasa tuwe tumejiweka wakfu hide away in the holiest of holies ndani kabisa mle katika patakatifu patakatifu with god pamoja na it mungu it is better that we come easy yani bora kabisa tuje kwa urahisi take our time tuchukue wakati wetu and see where we are going na kuona wapi tunaelekea are you getting that nalipata hilo and see where we are going na tuone mahali tunakoelekea Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Yes, ndio.
Let me come to something again. Hebu na niliendee jambo jingine tena hapo. Now, the prophet said, I say this with reverence. Sasa nabii anasema, nalisema hili kwa kichwa. There is too many of us playing in the courts yet. Kuna wengi wetu ambao bado wanachezea ndani ya ule ua. We don't take our lives over with Christ to be hid away. Hatuyatwai maisha yetu pamoja na Kristo yafichwe kabisa. The fruit of the spirit proves it. Lile tunda la roho linathibitisha hivyo. We might think that we are Yawezekana tukafikiri kwamba ndivyo tulivyo. But until your life measures up with that. Lakini hadi maisha yako yatakapo lingana na hilo. That's where you prove it. Hapo ndipo talithibitisha. Jesus said by their fruits. Yesu alisema kwa matunda yao you shall know them. Tawatambua. Not by their denominations. Sio kwa madhehebu yao. Not by their but 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 by but by their fruit Sio na na vitu vyao lakini kwa matunda yao mtawatambua The fruit of the spirit is love Tunda la roho joy, ni upendo furaha amani uvumilivu goodness wema gentleness mungwana, patience uvumilivu meekness upole temperance uh, yes fruit of the spirit Tunda la roho God knows today that what the holiness people need Mungu anajua leo kwamba kile wanachohitaji watu wa utakatifu and also the calvinists na wale watu wa sheria all of them today they need more ha, of the holy spirit wote hao wanahitaji roho mtakatifu all right Amen. now look at that sasa angalia hilo always when you are just at the level of a denomination kama huko kwenye kiwango tu cha madhehebu or if i say a denomination au nikisema dhehebu we have condemned too much the word denomination unajua tumelaumu sana neno dhehebu let me say if Hebu you are just at the level of a church kama huko kwenye kiwango kiwango cha kanisa you are not going anywhere uendi popote because the devil doesn't fear this gathering kwa sababu shetani haogopi mkusanyiko wa hili the devil fears shetani anaogopa when you go there in the life of christ zama kule ndani ya maisha ya kristo when you yourself ambapo wewe mwenyewe you become the written epistle of una, god unageuka kuwa nyaraka zilizoandikwa za mungu read of all men ambazo zinasomwa na kila mtu Are you get it? Napata hilo. Usoever is usoever is looking at you is just reading the scriptures. Yeyote anayekutazama ni kama anasoma maandiko. When you are talking to that person is just looking at the scriptures. Unapoongea na yule mtu yeye anaona maandiko ndani yako. When that person offends you. Huyo mtu akikukwaza. In the ending he just sees the scriptures. Mwisho anaona maandiko. Not, that is too much. Sio unasema ah hii imezidi. You know I'm a human being I'm still in the flesh. Unajua mimi ni mwanadamu bado duko kwenye mwili huu. But Jesus Christ was, was also still in the flesh. Lakini Yesu naye alikuwa bado yuko katika mwili. When they were crucifying him when Wakati they were insulting him wanamtukana when they called him Beuzebub walipomuita Beuzebuli he was still in the flesh. Alikuwa bado yuko katika mwili. So you, you can say now you, be Sasa, careful I'm in the I'm still in the Uwezi fish. kusema uwe makina mimi bado niko katika mwili. I can lose temper naweza nikapatwa na hasira and go and confess and repent and start worshiping. Lakini ni baadaye naenda na tubu na anza ibada tena. Now sasa Second Corinthians chapter 3 it says Wa Korinto wa pili sura ya tatu inasema Do we begin again to commend ourselves Je tunaanza tena kujisifu wenyewe to commend is to praise ourselves e, kujisifu kujigamba Oh need we as some other epistles au tunahitaji kama wengine 
epistles of commendation to you barua zenye sifa kuja kwenu or letters of commendation from you au kutoka kwenu ye ye are our epistle ninyi ndinyi barua yetu written in our hearts iliyoandikwa mioyoni mwetu known and read of all men inajulikana na kusomwa na watu wote paul is speaking to the church paulo anaongea na kanisa that you kwamba ninyi you are the written epistles ninyi ndiyo nyaraka zilizoandikwa written in us zilizoandikwa ndani yetu are you following that amen so paul kwa hiyo paulo had the written epistles paulo alikuwa na nyaraka zilizoandikwa the epistles the bond of believers na nyaraka hizo zilikuwa ni mwili wa waaminio written in him ambazo zimeandikwa ndani yake And when he is preaching na anapokuwa anahubiri he was preaching his church alikuwa analihubiri kanisa lake and what he was preaching is what the church was na alichokuwa anahubiri ndicho kanisa lilichokuwa are you following that mnafuata hiyo not preaching something that is very far away sio kuhubiri kitu ambacho kiko mbali sana but preaching something that was present lakini kuhubiri kitu ambacho kilikuwepo when he preaches show us the sermon that you preached then you say go and see how the believer i preached to live baada ya kuhubiri ukienda kumuuliza tuonyeshe somo uliohubiri atakwambia nenda akaangalie waaminio niliowahubiria the way they live namna wanavyoishi namna wanavyoongea that is the message that i preach huo ndio ujumbe nao uhubiri mimi the way they dress namna wanavyovaa the way they treat their husbands namna wanavyowachukulia waume zao that is the gospel i preach hiyo ndio injili ambayo mimi paulo nahubiri i don't preach any other thing hasa si ubiri kimi are you following that i am going to say this nitasema hili pia If you want to read the epistles of the Pentecostals of today. Kama unataka kusoma nyaraka za wapentecostal leo. You go and see their believers. Nenda kaangalie waumini wa, wa wao. The way they dress. Namna wanavyovaa. The way they do everything. Namna wanavyofanya kila kitu. The way they treat their husbands. Namna wanavyoshughulika na wao. That is the gospel of denominations. Hiyo ndiyo injili ya madhehebu. That is what they preach. Ndio wanachokihubiri. You may say no 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 there is no Sema ah pana pana pana. There is no pastor who can preach like that. Hakuna mchungaji anaweza kuhubiri hivi. Every message kila ujumbe has a life in it. Una una uzima ndani yake. Why we are like what we are? Ninyi mko kama vile tulivyo. There is a life in this message. Kwa sababu kuna uzima ndani ya huu ujumbe. Whoever listens to this message yeyote atakaye usikia ujumbe huu his life maisha yake begins to change yanaanza kubadilika and he will just be in the line na ataanza kuwa kwenye mstari and not by power na sio kwa nguvu but by the spirit of god bali kwa roho wa Mungu are you get that nalipata hilo the prophet says it nabii anasema Here some time ago there was an evangelist. Hapa siku si nyingi kulikuwa na mwinjilisti mmoja. Came to town. Alikuja mjini. And the man said, na mtu mmoja akasema, "Oh come." Lonjo. Very much enthused. Ndipo said, "Ye akakataa." Here is here is this man. Akasema hapa kuna mwanaume huyo. He said, "Well, akasema vema. I would love to do it." Ningependa kulifanya ile. But said, "You know." Akasema unajua tonight we got church. Usiku, At our own church. Usiku huu tuna ibada kanisani kwetu. And said, nakasema, I will go tomorrow night with you. Nitaenda pamoja nawe kesho usiku. Said, oh, you can go next week. Asema, "Lo, ah, utaenda wiki ijayo." He said, "But we have services at our own church." Akasema, "Lakini tuna ibada kanisani kwetu sisi." He said, Asema, "And I will go tomorrow night to hear the man." Asema, "Nitaenda usiku kesho kumsikiliza yule mtu." Say, "Oh, but this 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 is a real good man." Asema, "Lo, lakini huyo mtu mzuri sana." He's a wonderful speaker. Ni mnenaji mzuri. And he, he said Na akasema Well Vema. I don't doubt one word that you are saying Sitilisha kaneno hata moja unalozungumza But what he is a wonderful man 
Ni kweli ni mtu mzuri sana. He said, Kasema, you know I live next door to my pastor. Unajua ninaishi jirani na mchungaji wangu. See what I mean? Naona nacho maanisha? It is your life. Ni maisha yako. This man, huyo mtu, he was saying he's a good speaker. Alikuwa anasema anamsifia, anasema mhubiri mzuri. Ni mtu mzuri. But this man was living just next. Lakini anayemwambia alikuwa ni jirani wa huyo mbubi. Alikuwa anajua maisha ya huyo mbubi. I am not disagreeing but I, I just live next. Akamwambia mimi sikatai ushuhuda wako lakini to mimi my, ni jirani yake huyo jamaa. Huyo mchungaji. Are you following that? Napata ile. So it is not how much I can speak. Kwa hiyo sio wingi wa maneno unaweza kunena. But the life lakini maisha Are you following that? Napata hilo. Now. Sasa. Just like you let us talk about uh, how, the way we live. Hebu ngoja tuzungumze kuhusu namna tunavyoishi. Just like in you in your life here on earth. Kama tu maisha yako ya hapa duniani. You live in a three room house. Unaishi katika nyumba yenye vyumba vitatu. Did you know that? Mlifahamu hilo. Okay, quickly. Vema. Haraka. You got a kitchen. Una jiko. You got a living room. Yaani una jikoni, una chumba, una sebleni. And you got a bedroom. Na una chumba cha kulala. You might say me I have got four 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 rooms. Unaweza kusema lakini chumbani mimi na nyumba yenye vyumba vingi. That 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 is a it is just three. Lakini nabia anasema ni vyumba vitatu tu. That's what you may that that's what you make use of. Hivyo ndio unavyovitumia. Are you following that? Nafuata hiyo. Now notice. Sasa angalia. God lived in a three room house back in the tabernacle. Mungu aliishi katika nyumba yenye vyumba vitatu nyuma huko maskanini. The congregation. Ile kusanyika. The court of the congregation. Ule huwa wa kusanyika. The holy place. Mahali patakatifu. And the holiest of holies. Mada, na patakatifu patakatifu. The three rooms. Vyumba vitatu. What represents? Ilivyo Just like the kisha steps you come to kama tu zile hatua ambazo unaziendea eh? mm. the place of full concentration with Christ e mahali pa kujiweka wakati kikamilifu na Kristo the kitchen is where you eat jikoni ndio mahali unakolia chakula the sinner comes to the meeting mwenye dhambi anakuja kwenye mkutano if it's on the way anakula neno first cometh by hearing imani huja kwa kusikia faith comes by hearing imani huja kwa kusikia and by hearing the word na kusikia neno he comes to hear the word anakuja kusikia neno and many times na mara nyingi we substitute so much instead of the word tunaweka sana vibadala badala ya neno especially today hasa leo we are substituting substituting phenomena Tunajaribu kubadilisha e, mitindo we are substituting a lot of other things that Matu, shouldn't be matu, tunajaribu kuweka vibadala vya matukio na kuweka vitu ambavyo havitakiwi kuwa after all na hata hivyo church is for preaching the word kanisa ni kwa ajili ya kuhubiri neno testimonies shuhuda afarin and different things na vitu kama hivi that we do so is out. wonderful ni vizuri kufanya but we must give the word first place lakini lazima neno tulipe nafasi ya kwanza because it is for a sinner kwa sababu ni kwa ajili ya mwenye dhambi for the people that na, has the holy ghost na kwa ajili ya watu wenye roho mtakatifu pia are you following that amen so in everything that you are doing kwa kwa kila kitu unachokifanya give the word of god first neno la mungu lipe nafasi ya kwanza jesus said to the devil yesu alimwambia ibilisi it is written Imeandikwa. man shall not live by bread alone mtu hataishi kwa mkate tu but every word that proceedeth out of the mouth bali of god. kwa kila neno linalotoka kinywani mwa mungu are you following that nafuatilia hilo Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Are you following that? Nalifuatilia hilo. But then your bedroom is your place of rest. Lakini chumba chako cha kulala ndio mahali pako pa kupumzika. And after the toil of of a weary day, 
baada ya mateso ya siku fulani ambayo ni ya uchovu daima unaingia chumbani peke yako kupumzika at my house nyumbani kwangu the prayer room is the bedroom chumba changu cha maombi ni kile chumba cha kulala are you following that napata hilo many times mara nyingi i have went into little old homes nimeingia katika viumba vidogo vya kale and see the mothers and so forth come out of the bedroom with little old kankad apron on na kuona wakina mama wakitoka kwenye vyumba vya kulala wakiwa na vitamba au mitandio fulani hiyo chakaa wiping their eyes wakifuta macho yao crying wakilia praying wakiomba secret place same as ya siri meeting place na mahali pa kukutana alone with god pamoja na Mungu isolated wakiwa wamejitenga it is a marvelous place to be ni mahali pa ajabu pa kukaa you are just at home huko tu nyumbani you don't even pray kuombi you are just there huko tu hapo kuzungumza na kwa 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 that you will not go anywhere hilo alita kufikisha popote find a time to go in the secret place tafuta muda wa kwenda mahali pa siri to offload your life to god utue maisha yako yote kwa mungu this is what the prophet said ndicho nabii anachosema he goes to visit a home anaenda kutembelea nyumba this is a, a sister coming out of the room unaona dada anatoka chumbani with a tankard ana kitambaa kilichochakaa anafuta machozi weeping analia how i would like to have a church like that o jinsi ninavyopenda kuwa na kanisa la namna hiyo where where you sometimes the prophet could go somewhere Wakati and find one is praying and you also stand at the door na and bi. also is praying outside waiting alikuwa akitembelea baadhi ya familia ana karibia na sikia wanaomba ndani naye anasimama nyuma ya mlango anawasubiri kwanza wamalize maombi How did he know that he was praying inside? Alijuaje kwamba wanaomba ndani? He was not praying like Alikuwa praying. Praying Walikuwa... is crying unto God. And a person who is crying to God is uncontrollable. Kuomba ni kumulilia Mungu na mtu anayemlilia Mungu Si rahisi yani mtu ni mtu asiyezuhirika kirahisi. When you are asking something from yani kama your father, naomba kitu fulani kutoka kwa a baby, I want this. Kama mtoto anaomba kitu I want ice cream. Sema nataka ice cream. If that child indeed she has got freedom that this one is my mother, this one is my father. Kama huyo mtoto kweli ana uhuru kwamba huyo ni baba yangu, huyo ni mama yangu. Can you say give me ice cream? Hawezi kusema ni nipe ice cream. No no no. Hapana. I need the ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. cream. Iwe you. Iwe nyamaza. Hakuna hela. Mimi nataka ice cream. And eh mpaka utatoa hela. This child. Eh mtoto. Ah. Go and buy. Oh, go and buy for him. Nenda kanunue. Now stop crying. Hapa acha kulia sasa. Are you get that? Mnalipata. Oh what I'm saying is that. Na yote ninayosema ni kwamba never you be deceived. Usije kadanganywa. Because this word what it is. Kwa sababu ulimwengu jinsi ulivyo. It is so sweet when you are listening ah. to it. Ili neno ni ni tamu sana unapokuwa unalisikiliza. And too, if you are not careful it will turn you into a baptist. Mpaka kama usipokuwa mwangalifu utajikuta limekubadilishwa umekuwa mbaptist because the baptists they like quiet praise wa they love listening to the word you can't compare the pentecostals with baptists lakini huwezi kulinganisha wa pentecost na wa baptists they like to be in a quiet wa baptists wataka pawe pametulia they are just listening wanaskiliza deep things mambo ya kilindi And now na sasa that is where now the spirit screams 
Hapo ndipo mahali ambapo roho anapiga kelele screaming to the Laodicean church anawapigia kelele kanisa la Laodikia that because you kwa, think that you are rich kwamba eti kwa sababu unafikiri kwamba ninyi ni matajiri you are rich M- and if there is an age which is rich na kama kuna kizazi ambacho ni tajiri in gospel kwenye, it is this age kwenye injili ni kizazi hiki it is rich ni tajiri kweli it can make even a group preach because inaweza kikamfanya hata mhuni tapeli akahubiri kwa sababu ni tajiri but now lakini sasa to make the church cross over ulifanya kanisa liweze kuvuka is what is lacking ndicho kinachokosekana to make the church cross over kufanya kanisa livuke it takes someone like mm, Joshua inahitaji mtu kama Joshua 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 are you following that amen Joshua is not a compromiser Joshua alikuwa hapatani patani. He said in three days. Alikuwa anasema katika siku tatu. We are crossing over. Tunavuka mto. Because our journey. Kwa sababu safari yetu. Let me tell you. Hebu niwaambieni. Just like we are preaching about it, three stages. Kama tunavyohubiri hatua tatu. Yes. Ndio. God was there in Egypt. Mungu alikuepo kule Misri. Are you following that? Amen. And God was there in the wilderness. Na Mungu alikuepo jangwani pia. But that was not a permanent place to stay. Lakini pale hapakuwa mahali pa mwisho pa kukaa. There was no promise for those people. Hapakuepo na ahadi pa kukaa ya kukaa jangwani. The promise was Canaan. Ahadi ilikuwa Kanani. And Joshua said. Na Joshua akasema. In three days. Katika siku tatu. Sanctify yourselves. Jitakaseni. A sanctified person mtu aliyetakaswa is a person who has already repented ni mtu ambaye tayari ameshatubu a person who is justified mtu anahesabiwa and has already started on the journey na ameshaanza safari now he has to sanctify himself sasa inatakiwa ajitakase he said leave your wives alone akawaambia awaachaneni na wake zenu kwanza separate jitengeni In three days katika siku tatu you are entering unaingia Are you following that? Nafata hilo. That move huo msogeo was not a move a fleshly move. Haku au kwa msogeo wa kimwili. It was a, a Pentecostal move. Ilikuwa ni msogeo wa kipentecoste. Are you following that? Nafata hilo. It was a Pentecostal move. Ilikuwa ni msogeo wa Kipentecoste. Because that was the move. Kwa sababu huo ilikuwa ndio msogeo. Are you following that? Nafata hilo. And that move. Na huo msogeo. Was not only the move in Joshua. Haikuwa msogeo tu ndani ya Joshua. It was God tabernacled in the people. Ilikuwa ni Mungu akiwa amefanya maskani yake ndani ya watu. That's why. Hiyo ndio sababu. When they crossed over. Walipovuka Who, who broke down the, the wall? Nani aliyevunja zile kuta? God did not send angels to break it. Mungu hakutuma malaika kuvunja. No. Apana. He told the people. Aliwaambia wale watu. That shout. Kwamba pigeni kelele. They had the word enough from Moses. Walikuwa wamepata neno la kutosha kutoka kwa Musa. Walipata neno la kutosha kutoka kwa Joshua. And when they shout. Na wanapopiga kelele. It is the God's voice that was shouting. Ilikuwa ni sauti ya Mungu ikipaza kelele. And Jericho. Na Yeriko. Could not stand the shouting of God. Isingeweza kustahimili zile kelele za Mungu. In the people. Ndani ya watu. That's why. Ndio sababu. A person with the Holy Ghost. Mtu mwenye Roho Mtakatifu. A demon can't stand. Pepo hawezi kusimama. The word of a believer. Neno la muaminio. Sickness. Magonjwa. Cannot stand. Hayawezi kusimama. The voice of a believer. Sauti ya muaminio. Are you following that? Amen. Because my hand is his hand. Ni mikono yake. My mouth Domo is wangu. his mouth. Ndomo wake. My voice sauti yangu is his voice. Ni sauti yake. 
Amen. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Lord, jina la bwana libarikiwe. You have to be isolated. Lazima ujitenge. And when a man ever takes his life out of these other places, na mtu anapochukua maisha yake na kuyatoa kwenye sehemu hizo zingine, into a concentrated na kuzama place. kwenye mahali pa kuji Takasa. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Can I see the tabernacle? Hebu naweza nikaona ile picha ya maskani. Yes. Ndio. When a man wakati mtu is comes out of all these two places. Anapotoka nje ya hizi sehemu mbili zote. The first place sehemu ya kwanza the second place na sehemu ya pili. As I said kama nilivyosema that in this outer court kwamba huwa wa nje they lived under the sun waliishi chini ya jua sunlight and, and starlight and moonlight nuru ya jua nuru ya mwezi nuru ya nyota which could go ambavyo vingeweza kutoweka that excitement of your justification from water ule furaha yako ile kuchangamka kwa kubatizwa kwenye maji it goes away vivyo vinatowekaga you will remain dry utabaki mkavu and be the same person again utakuwa mtu yule yule tena huyo wa zamani the same one with that old temper yule yule mwenye hasira za kale Hebu songa mbele. And when you reach there again. Na unapoingia hapo tena. Oh blessed be the name of the Lord. Lord jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Don't stay too long. Usikae sana hapo papi. Don't stay too long. Usikae sana hapo. When you stay, stay too much long, longer here. Uni, ukikaa sana hapo ndani pia. May I see this? Hebu nione hiche kinara. Candlestick. Kile kinara kama kile kilichoko ndani. I want you to sit. When Una, you stay too much here. Ukikaa sana hapo. In in F, F, Ephesus. Pale Efeso. Remember God is moving. Kumbuka Mungu anatembea. When he comes here. Anapokuja. This uku. is out. Hicho kinaisha. You will remain in darkness. Utabaki kwenye giza. And also this. Na hapo. All this. Hivyo vyote. Today we have got to only one place which is lighting. Leo tuna mahali pamoja tu penye nuru. And all the denominations na madhehebu yote they have remained in the darkness wamebaki gizani are you following that amen now sasa even this one hata hiki the light will not stay forever nuru haitakaa milele because this light kwa sababu hiyo nuru is just in the second court ipo tu kwenye ua wa pili are you following that Napata you should move on. Lazima usongee mbele. Move on. Songa mbele. To that other place. Uingie mahali pengine kule. That place. Hapo mahali. In the holy of holies. Mahali patakatifu pa patakatifu. In the holy of holies. Patakatifu pa patakatifu. Where? Ambapo the light was God. Nuru ilikuwa ni Mungu mwenyewe. There was the Shekinah glory of God. Ulikuwa na utukufu wa Shekinah. And there was the ark of covenant there. Na kulikuwa na sanduku la gano pale. There was manna. Palikuwa na manna. That was picked for the first time. Ambayo iliyokotwa kwa mara ya kwanza. When it dropped, ilipo vunjwa. God is not delighted in the modern things. Mungu wafurahishwi na mambo ya kisasa. The manna which was here. Maana iliyokuepo mle ndani. Was that first manna which ile, dropped? Hiyo dondoka kwa mara ya kwanza. In there after red sea. Kule nyuma baada kuvuka bahari ya Sham. Said pick it. Alisema chukueni hiyo okoteni. Go and put it. Hiyo nendeni mkaifazi. Near the ark of covenant. Karibu na sanduku la gano pale it never went bad hiyo maana haikuchacha are you following that amen and that's why nasa ndio sababu even our message hata ujumbe wetu it should be the same message that it dropped down in pentecost inatakiwa uwe ujumbe ule ule ulioshuka siku ya pentecost until the prophet of the hour paka nabii wa saa said alisema i have preached like paul nimehubiri kama paulo whosoever comes yeyote anayekuja if he is a messenger kama ni mjumbe he has to go back to the first man lazima arudi kwa yule mtu wa kwanza and he take a mouth full atakiwa turudi kwenye maana ya kwanza na ajaze mdomo wote and the prophet said na nabii anasema when he tested alipoonja a mouth full 
chakula. It was making him be stimulated. Ah, alipojaza mdomo wote na ile mana ilikuwa inamchangamsha. Hallelujah, praise. Hallelujah. Mungu atukuze. Amen. Are you get it? Hallelujah. Meaning that ikimaanisha kwamba we have to go back lazima turudi nyuma to the same excitement kwenye frai ile changamko ile ile nguvu zile zile roho mtakatifu yule yule same miracles miujiza ile ile the same words neno lile lile oh blessed be the name of the lord lord jina la bwana libarikiwe are you getting it nalipata hilo now sasa all these things mambo yote haya put in the bible yamewekwa kwenye biblia for example kama mfano are you get it papa napata i told you that when aaron was entering from there niwaambia wakati aaron anaingia kupitia pale he had a pomegranate alikuwa amefunga njuga kwenye miguu he was and clean na amevaa vazi safi he was told to dress clean aliambiwa avae vazi safi to be clean before god awe msafi mbele za Mungu. And cleanliness na usafi is next to God. Ni karibu na Mungu. Let even your house Ebu, everything your yard be clean. Ebu ruhusu yani acha nyumbani kwako hata uwanja wa nje uwe msafi. Amen. And when you was entering na alipokuwa anaingia even Aaron himself hata Haruni mwenyewe was trembling before God alikuwa anatetemeka mbele za Mungu never you come to a place where you get used to the presence of God usifike mahali ambapo umezoea sana uwepo wa Mungu where the house of God becomes like your house ambapo nyumbani kwa Mungu ni kama nyumbani kwako naingia tu be careful uwe makini This is the place of the king. Hapa ni nyumbani kwa mfalme. All of us so should be humble. Lazima tuwe wanyenyekevu. When we are here. Tunapokuwa hapa. Are you following that? Napata hilo. All the people. Watu wote. When Aaron is entering. Wakati Aaron alikuwa anaingia. They were all quiet. Wote walikuwa wako kimya. Meditating. Wakitafakari. Is taking the blood anatoa damu inside the holy of god kutoka mahali patakatifu what if the lord has not accepted you vipi kama mungu asipomkubali vipi akifia mle then we are doomed ndio tumekwisha wote are you get it napata hiyo and he went na alikuwa anaingia the veil went behind him pazia inaenda nyuma yake and when he enters there na alipoingia mle ndani it was a place of life ilikuwa ni sehemu ya uzima sajat when he came out of there kiasi ambacho alikuwa akitoka kule he forgot the road alisahau fimbo kule ndani and the road when he went back next year alipoenda mwakani he did the road akakuta ile fimbo kavu imesha kuwa na uzime imeota nani ma, majani it produced fruits ikaota mpaka matunda kazaa matunda can stay in the presence of god kama muamini angeweza kukaa uweponi mwa mungu my dear brother my dear sister Ndugu if, dada, if you are dead hata kama umekuwa mfu you will live utaishi There is something there is something about this word. Kuna kitu fulani kuhusu hili neno. And another thing. Na kitu kingine, you should not to pray until you break through. Natakiwa upende kuomba mpaka upasue anga. Not just a prayer. Sio tu maombi fulani hivi. No. Bwana, niambie chao. Mimi ni mwana. Oh, the prophet said you break through Sometimes you can even find yourself speaking in tongues. Wakati mwingine unaweza ukajikuta unanena kwa lugha huko. 
Unasema hapana waamini wa waneni kwa lugha. Mm. Nani kakwambia? It is in the Bible the prophet said it is restored. Everything is restored. Eh, ni nabii amesema kila kitu kimeelekezwa kila kitu yote aliyokuepo kule mwanzo kwa mitume lazima yawepo hapo tongues Luga, prophecies ta- visions eh, whatever unabii maono kila kitu sometimes even those that are gifted should make themselves be known to the pastor so that they have early meetings na wale ambao wakati mwingine wale ambao wanavipawa wanatakiwa mchungaji awajue kusudi mara kwa mara wao wanakutanika in the morning asubuhi wawahi kwa sababu wana karama wawepo hapo and be somewhere whether in the, the, the office with the pastor wawe mahali fulani au kama ni chumbani na ni sehemu hiyo jitenga wanatafakari mpaka waone maono mpaka watoe unabii this helps the church Aya mambo yanasaidia kanisa. The prophet said the gifts in the church. Nabii anasema vipawa kanisani. They kill cockroaches. Vinaua mende mende wanaonyemelea. In the, the cupboard in the you know, Mende walioko kwenye kabati nini? There are some cockroaches if the, the Kuna baadhi ya mende. If God, if God made those things to be in the church then god knows where the cockroaches are here mungu kama aliruhusu vipawa viepo kanisani basi mungu anajua kwa wapi mende waliko kanisani humu and now look at this sasa naangalia hili gifts are not something to fear vipawa sio vitu vya kuviogopa you know why i don't like gifts because sometimes they prophesy lies O, o, yani unasema unajua mimi kwa nini sipendi karama kwa sababu wakati mwingine wanatoa unabii wa uongo then i said all the gifts ndio nikasema sasa even preachers vipawa hata waubiri they are a false preacher and kuna so waubiri wa uongo basi natakiwa muchukie hata waubiri wote that's why the bible says ndio maana bibi anasema these gifts should be judged hivi vipawa lazima vi, vi, vi vikabuliwe vithibitishwe lies can be there yes e, but we shouldn't throw them away lazima vipambanulio kwa sababu Mungu anajua uongo ndio upo sasa imaanishi kutupilia mbali na vipawa vyote au karama zote if i become a false preacher then this one should take sasa, the that from today sasa mimi nikiwa mhubiri wa uongo alafu mchungaji naye asimama aseme kuanzia leo this gift of preaching there is a lot of lies mimi karama ya kuhubiri una uongo mwingi sana umeenda. Even me have stepped down. Mimi mwenyewe na najihuzuru uchungaji. We should go to tapes. Twende tukasikilize tu kanda. A tape is a machine. Kanda ni mashine. God raised a man. Mungu aliinua mtu. Five for ministry. Huduma tano. Not a tape. Sio kanda. This a uh-uh. a Eh. God will judge a man on the day of judgment. The prophet said what you preach God shall judge you for what you preach. Mungu atahukumu mtu siku ya hukumu. Nabii anasema unachohubiri Mungu atahukumu siku ya mwisho. Not hiding in a machine. You want God to go and be judging a machine. Mu, sio kujifichia kwenye mashine. Mungu atahukumu mashine. Can a machine pray for you? Mashine inaweza kukuombea. Can a machine marry you? Mashine inaweza kufunga ndoa. Can it bless your marriage? Hii inaweza kubariki ndoa, mashine. Then we should be using the same machine to take you to the graveyard. Basi tumia mashine hiyo wakati unazikwa pia. <laughs> we just said there is a tape Ninasema kuna kanda there are so many things in this, and I should not lift it it should go on its own why should it depend upon you na sitakiwi kuibeba kwa nini sijibebe yenyewe kanda iende iendeshe mazishi kwa nini iniende yenyewe i was going to listen if paul said now that i have preached i am the messenger of the hour Never you add anything you should just be reading scripture by scripture and then Sasa ningeelewa hivi kama Paulo angesimama akasema sasa kwa sababu mimi ndio mjumbe wa sana nimeshahubiri jumbe zangu mtu mwingine yeyote asijaribu kuongeza chochote someni tu nyaraka zangu kila wakati mnapokusanyika mnasoma tu nyaraka jinsi zilivyo msihubiri it should just be tape 
Kwa sababu ni kanda tu, kanda tu. tu. Haiwezi kuwa hivyo. May God bless you. Mungu awabariki. Amen. That's why I said I don't want to rush. Yohana alisema sitaki kuenda haraka huku. To show that I'm a preacher man. No. I just want you to get what I need. Nataka mpate kile ninacho kilichoko moyo ninacho kihisi. May God bless you. Mungu awabariki. You can stand. Tunaweza kusimama. And then we pray. Na tuombe. All of us. Sote. All of all the church. Sote tutaingia kwenye kuomba wote kanisa. Hebu na tuombe kila mmoja. Lord Jesus Christ. You are the same yesterday and forever. Iwe wele sawa usitoke. We wachinka. We wa makayonse kabili we mfumlese wa pwa. Kulenga abana bobe mushwe. No kutwe mfumlese wa pwa kwiru. Pantwe mfumlese wa pe. Iwe niweleza we mfumya pe umukata kabili umukankala. Weleza we mfumlese wa pwa lulundi. Weleza we mfumya pe wa chinka. Kulenga bobe beka jide we mfumlese wa pe. When you bless our people, we can have one. No good there at all. We wish to bless our people. We are watching. We are looking. When you wish to bless our people, we can have one. We can have one. We can have one. Thank you. 